Tara and Nishma Mas, and I'm an illustrator and a designer, and I do murals. And I have been outreached by the Huckleberry Youth Program to help them guide their class along with uh, creating a mobile mural project. So we can share some guiding questions, and then if you feel comfortable, you can share your drawing. Uh, my question was, what is, what do you love, what is your passion, what is your happiness? And I drew like a world and things around it, of uh, what you love, what, like education, passion, and what you do, the community. Yes. Hi, my name is Jenny, and as a peer health educator, um, I am able to spread awareness to teenagers that are my age, and it um, creates a safer environment for those people that feel awkward talking to other people. I drew some, um, it's like a big thing. There's the people in the middle and there's people in the Nice, and dancing going on. Yeah, being a PhD empowers me by making me more aware about the health issues like in our community, on like drug problem, alcohol problem. Being a PhD actually taught me how to talk, talk more, and also speak my mind about things, and also I can teach my peers on how to choose a single drug. So kind of just follow along, it's okay if it goes over. A lot of line work I did. Being at Fiji empowers me to raise awareness and spread information to my peers in the community because being at Fiji I learned a lot about certain mental and sexual health. Being at Fiji empowers me by being self-advocate. It allows me to serve not only myself but the knowledge but also my community. For example now I'm able to talk to my mom about things that probably didn't understand, but since I have the knowledge, I can use that by talking to her about things she didn't know about. Today we're like doing like a mural project where it's like the mural will like travel to like other high schools, so you guys are the first ones to get to paint on it. And like, so I want you to write like, or draw what you think community is to you. So think about how you can tr contribute to the community, what you want the community to look like, and what, what do you see it in your community? If you like mix like a brown, I'll show you how to make brown paint. Community means to me a group of people creating a safe place for everybody. For me, I'm in different communities like my line dance group, my piano group, my drawing boat team, and um, swim and recreation I go to, and like things like that. Green so primary is blue, red, and yellow. Communities provide me with a place to go to, and I know that I'm safe because everyone's working together to keep it safe. I can build a community at school by like participating in events like volunteering and like fundraising, helping out with pep club for a cl like our class. <laughs> to me, community is like certain clubs and like, you know, everyone ha are in like different clubs, different groups, they live in different neighborhoods, so it's different for everybody. <laughs> So I know this through Sandeep. Initially, he he came to me um, about this project, uh, explaining to me what it was about, and he wanted to set a date. Uh, he did a wonderful job. Was always on top of things. Great communicator. He sent me a really really long detailed email, explain you know explaining the, the project. A wonderful opportunity. Yeah, for for students, not just. You know, not just le student leaders, but you know, just students overall to be involved. We're asking youth and six different high schools in San Francisco to contribute. What does positive community mean to them? And if maybe there's something positive that you don't see in your community, the what is it that you would like to see? Community means um, a group of people that um, try to encourage you to reach a goal. And in my music community at George Washington High School, we not only play music for ourselves as a passion, but for others. Community to me is 
in group of people who that you can communicate with, someone you can trust in someone that you know that is gonna be there for you. So I'm part of your health educator community. Then I have a query and there's my school, George Washington, um, Excelsior community and that's where I live and I think it's the most important community because I know that if I ever need help they're gonna help me. Like once I forgot my keys and I was able to stay in my neighbor's house until my parents got home. So that's big because not everybody gets to do it. I feel proud. Community basically means so there's people, yes. There's connection going on. A lot of connections. For me it's personally it's dance. Every Friday and Wednesday I go to this acro sports it's near Kizar. Like bunch of adults and all the teenagers from high school comes there. People who practice their break dance break dance skills. When you're dancing everybody will look at look at you like it's like a community. And then they'll give you good good feedbacks and then we just like share a love and I think that's like coming to me. Being a PhD helps me empower my community because I can help a lot of people around me, like not just my family, but anyone that I see that can have help with anything as far as sexual, mental, just even just bullying or something. Like I can help them stand up because I learned how to do those things. <laughs> It's you guys' turn to basically um, paint or sketch, whatever community means. Uh, JJ Cristobal is a student in the class, and he brought this forward to the surprise of many of the students. He interacts well with them and explained what the project was. What does community mean to you? Increase the peace. Uh, this has been the theme here for this week. In Espanol, they say, aumenten la paz increase the peace and I think this is a very calming activity for the students and uh, anytime we can provide a safe haven and a calming room I'm for that. So are we yes. Oh by the way um, you could also add to a painting that's already on the canvas so that's highly um, encouraged. To me community is a feeling of connection with other, with other people and it's also how um, others encourage other people to work on a common goal. First, I'm going to give you an idea as to what you want to do, and then we'll get the paint. I want the mural to create something that holds people together, and I want it to last, like something that symbolizes that people working together can make something awesome. Without community, people would feel like an island, and they would only work for themselves, by themselves, without anyone else to work for just themselves. I want the mural to be a spark where people can be, can like think of others, not just themselves. different thing to different people. Everyone had their own uniqueness in their paintings and through that I learned that um, my community and everyone's community was very diverse. Not everybody know what a community is. Like they don't really think about it because it's something you talk about in school and um, I think this really help people think about it and know what a community is and how many communities they're actually a part of. I learned that it's kind of hard to get teenagers like myself to get into a deeper talk about community and what that means to them. It helped them to, um, like not by saying it, but like by 
painting it like like one of my friend he drew like some barrel on the mural so that's like more about his community I think it basically I learned that it allows uh, different groups from different backgrounds to represent themselves and then have their voice heard I think when people were asked they didn't really even know what they meant like or what community was to them and it gave them an opportunity to like actually think about it and express what they wanted with us as a youth because it's not the same if you hear it from a, like adult than when you hear it from like teenager to teenager it's like it gives them an opportunity to actually connect with us overall it was youth empowerment basically it empowered me in a way and it also empowered my friends, like in my school, Zoro Suwashi High School. And, and what's cool about, or yeah, maybe tell me a little, what's cool about murals? Why is, why is having it as a mural cool? A um, mural, it's kind of like media, how they show what they want to show. And mural is where people could show how they feel. And so since this is community-based questions, they can just, um, we can see uh, what community means to them.